Hey guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Halfway through. Two more days of school for me. Um, but anyways, so the message I received today, I listened to um, Skin in the Game by Sarah Jake Roberts and um, talks about investing in your life. Um, talks about what are you willing to, you know, invest in order for your life to change. And it's a very powerful sermon, of course. Uh, but the one thing that she spoke about was how, you know, Adam and Eve were in the garden. And, of course, Eve sinned. And, um, you know, they went, you know, she bawled a lie. She bawled a lie. And um, that the enemy, the serpent, had messed with her mind. Um, and that's, uh, that's the thing I want to play with right there is your mind. Um, the enemy is very crafty in getting into your mind and making you believe things. And when you start to believe things, you start to behave differently. You start to act differently and you change. And she talks about it being like, uh, a diet, um, you change your diet, and if the enemy can get you to eat different food, then he can get you to transform into um, being different, and like, that is so true. Um, you know, I reflect over my life, it was just one thing after another in which I allowed the enemy to control my thoughts. Um, you know, it, it all goes back to, you know, when I was in school, um, I really tried to be that good girl um, all through high school. Like, I mean, I didn't cuss, I didn't drink, didn't smoke, didn't, I really didn't do any of the things. Uh, I wasn't raised that way. I was also in the church and, and like, I really cared what other people thought of me and, um, you know, my parents didn't do it. And so I really felt that you know, those people who did it, I didn't judge them, but yet I wasn't going to even entertain that because it would tarnish, I guess, um, me and what I thought about me and it would cause me to be a bad girl. And I grew up just having this great desire to be a good girl. And then, um, you know, I, oh goodness, I, I got, I went to college and, um, you know, I had a teenage uh, marriage that uh, ended in divorce, which was literally six months. I got involved in another relationship um, that, with an older person that was very, very not healthy. Um, I started, I started doing things. The enemy had, I had believed what the lie that the enemy gave me. I'm now a bad girl. I hurt this person. I, I, I got a divorce and I, I, I didn't believe in that. Um, so, you know, you get to, you get to a point where you say, you know, I'm just going to play the part. I didn't believe, I didn't, not that I didn't believe, I didn't know about God's grace or forgiveness or mercy or love and that, you know, I was forgiven. Um, instead I, I lived in that that mindset and it, it just consumed my life. Like it, it really got me in situations all through my life of, you know, it was just one thing after another. I would get rescued, I feel like, and I would have an opportunity and during it, I got sucked right back in with weaknesses that I had and I got sucked right back in um, into living in sin and, and just believing the lies about me and you know, I, I just, you know, there's a whole, there's a whole gamut of, of story there that, uh, I will talk about openly in, in my book, possibly. Um, I don't know, uh, someday I will put it all out there. Um, at the moment, God's not telling me I should, um, should share the whole entire story, but, um, I'm not ashamed of the story. It's got me to where I am now but I have to tread carefully um, with what I share and how much I share um, because it's attached to other people. And um, when I get that word, I definitely will share. 
Um, the one thing, though, um, that I want you to think about is, are you living in a place that you're not proud of yourself? Are you living at a place that you're ashamed? Um, are you living at a place that you feel beaten down, um, unworthy, uh, not enough, and you just feel stuck? Um, if that's the case, the enemy has got you, okay? And her message is called Skin in the Game, okay? Guys, I want you to know that you're not alone in that stuckness, okay? The one thing that I didn't get told to me is Karen. It's okay. We all mess up. We all sin. That doesn't make you a horrible person. You made a bad choice. You didn't do a good thing. But God is a redemptive one who restores and forgives. I didn't get that message. And it's crazy because I went to church since I was 12. And I, I, I'm just like, I don't know if I was just so lost, like in, in my trauma where I wasn't getting this message, but it wasn't clear to me. I'm making this very clear to you. If you have done things that you are not proud of, if you are living in a life of shame and guilt and condemnation, you don't have to live there anymore. Okay. You don't have to, you don't have to be in that cage. Okay. The door is open. That cage is open. You can fly away at any time. The thing is that you have to know that you can do that and that God is in that cage with you. Okay. He's there with you just wanting to, you know, wanting to help you escape. But the thing is, is you've got to recognize he's in that cage with you and you've got to turn to him and he will help you escape. He will, whatever situation it is. Whether you are addicted to drugs or you're in an unhealthy, toxic relationship or, you know, you're living with someone and you, you're not happy about that or you're, you have, you know, an eating disorder or you eat too much or I don't care what it is, okay? You can escape, but it takes investment, okay? It takes you recognizing I got to put some skin in this game. I've got to step up and take my life back. Okay. I've got to get in control. No longer am I going to let anybody else control what I feel about myself, what I think about myself, and what I do. I'm going to think for myself, but in order to think for myself, I need to think like God. Okay. So, I've got to renew my mind. I've got to renew my spirit. And guys, whatever that takes. You know, for me, that was binge watching videos about God. That was joining Bible studies. That was going on a mission trip. That was being a camp advisor. That was just literally pouring everything I could, um, learning as much as I could about our God. And just going to Him in prayer and consistently... Um, just feeding on the word and the more I fed on the word the more it just transformed my mind and so but I invested and guys it takes that investment you can't get out of any place if you can't do the work okay and I know you're tired and I know you're emotionally exhausted I've been there I've done that okay but the one thing I have to tell you is you really don't have a choice. If you want a different life, you have to make some different choices, okay? And that first choice is making yourself a priority, okay? The ultimate first thing is, you know, putting God first, getting your priorities in the right place, but you've got to be one of those. And you can't be anything to anybody if you are broken and you're barely surviving. You've got to do some work on you. You've got to reflect and say, you know, there's a lot of brokenness about me. I need to fix it. And you know, God is in that with you and he will help you fix it. But you've got to do the work. 
okay? And that goes back to, you know, joining a group or something, um, watching videos, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I'm making these videos. I don't know. I was just told to make videos, okay? And I'm kind of living life a little bit backwards um, and reflecting over the course of since I started making them. And I realized that there's people watching them. Like some of my uh, people that come to my studio said, you know, that was really a good video. That helped me, you know, thank you uh, for, for making that video. Um, like I said, I don't quote a lot of scripture here. Or I hardly do it all. Um, everything I talk about is, is from reading in the Bible or listening about um, the interpretation of scripture. Uh, um, but... It's like, have you ever read the Message Bible? Okay, so if you haven't, the Message Bible. If you are anti-Bible because maybe you don't understand the thee, thou, those. Okay, the Message Bible is awesome. It reads like a book. It reads like a story. And it's not this, this it, it breaks it down to where you can understand it. And so I think what I, the videos that I've been called to make is to just break it down and, and share truth and share just life situations um, and just letting you know what God is capable of doing and what has he done in my life as well. But, you know, get with God. Confess the things that you feel so crappy about because it's with voicing that. It's with that true authenticity, authenticity and sharing and just saying, you know, God, I did that. I did that. And I don't like that. And it makes me feel like crap. You know what? You don't have to stay there. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I believe that stupid phrase, you know, I made the bed, I need to lie in it. Oh my gosh. I, I, I played that in my head so many times. You know, Karen, you put yourself in this situation. Now you're stuck with it. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. Okay. You're not. Um, maybe what you got yourself stuck with you never were supposed to have. In all honesty, you weren't. You weren't in the will of God. You you stepped out of his will and took it into your own hands. And now you're cuffed to something God never intended or wanted for you. And so he can bless things and, and give you things. But you know, I can't I can't honestly say you'll have peace. Um you know, even with forgiveness, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that we escape our consequences, guys. When we sin, there are consequences for everything. Um, and, you know, God is a just God. Um, when we, we are his children, and when we go against him, there are ramifications. And you can still love him and have a relationship with him and be forgiven that doesn't mean you negate you know all responsibilities like he doesn't remove all of that what he does is he gives you the strength to endure okay um and and power in the affliction and a message to share and perhaps a ministry to help others but Life isn't always peachy keen. Um, it's peachy keen because we have him. And we know that he loves us. And we know those truths about us. And we know the vision and the revelations he's given us. So despite our own shortcomings and our failures, he still uses us. Um, he still uh, loves us. And um, he can elevate and put you back on the righteous path and be in his wheel. Um, but... God, God doesn't do, he's not a genie in a bottle, guys. So my message today is you've got to invest. As Sarah put it, you got to put skin in the game. It's like making a bet on yourself. It's like, you know, I, the number one thing is I've got to make some changes. Nobody's going to do it for me. It's going to take me stepping out, stepping up. And the first step is going to him. Okay. Getting real looking at you and saying how you know what common denominator is involved in all of this mess in my life and you need to take some hard looks and say you know that common denominator is me 
me. I'm the one that's in the middle of all this. And if that's you, then you've got to get to own some business and start working hard on, on tearing down those walls and like allowing God to heal and restore piece by piece, brick by brick, step by step. Guys, it's a slow process. But you know what? It's just taking that first step. And if you're a woman and you're watching my video um, and you feel alone, this Saturday from 1 to 3, we have the Thrive Tribe support group at Create Studios Education Training Center, 78 Old Main Plaza. We would love to have you there. Um, it's, it's a room filled of women who are living um, and serving God and um, the leaders, uh, the, the those who come. I don't know who's going to come, um, but it's for everybody. And it's just, we all crave to be seen, heard, and loved unconditionally. Um, to be loved like only Jesus can love you. Um, man will fail you. You've got to feel and know the love of Jesus. And with that, it's enough. It's enough. It will get you through. It will it will help you rise and rise strong. But you got to know who you are in Him. You got to feel and experience His love. And it really does take people walking alongside you, whether ahead of you or behind you. Um, you need that group, that community. So come out, and we would love to have you. And if you like these videos, please share them. Um, I'm not sure this is the message that I was going for. Um, and this video is probably the longest, almost the longest one I've had. So I don't know. But you know, guys, step up, step out, take charge of your life. You are in control. I mean, you're not in control. Uh, God's in control. Um, but you can take your power back, team, teaming up with him and just crushing it. Okay, you can do this. I believe in you. Have a great day. Happy Wednesday.